Warren Buggy is one of the brightest talents to come out of France in a long while and in Trenno Adriatico this year we saw glimpses of the rider who won stages of the Tour de France and the polka dot jersey at a mere age of 25. So what the f*** happened to Warren Buggy? But before we start make sure you're, that you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on any videos. Warren Buggy was born in Brittany of course and he began his professional career in 2011 with Britannia Soler riding as a stagiaire but Warren Buggy managed to draw attention to himself quite quickly when in the Tour de l'Avenir he won the 8th stage ahead of Catania, Chavez and even Michael Rodriguez and he finished 5th overall but Buggy really drew headlines to his name in the following edition where he went on to win the Tour de l'Avenir after winning stage 4 to Valor and he finished second on the final stage that meant that he clinched the overall by one second and in addition to that he also won the points classification and the mountains classification as well so a clean sweep for the young Bagui. Bagui finished his stagiaire with Argo Shimano before he signed with them at right. 2013 was his first season on the World Tour and towards the back end Warren Bagui took part in his first ever Grand Tour, La Vuelta España. And to everyone's astonishment, the young Britannia star managed to not only just win stage 13 after a heroic attack but also on stage 16 where he managed to beat veteran Rigoberto Run to a stage win. Simply a star was born. Further to this, Bagui also managed to place fourth in the Rome om Köln, predominantly a sprinter's race and 8th in the GP Marseille as well. In his second year with the team, Bargui was growing in confidence and finished 8th in a hard Strada Bianchi and even managed to finish within the top 10 at the Walter Catalunya overall. Bargui wanted to race the Tour de France but the team decided it was too early and they wanted him back at the Vuelta España once again but this time changing his focus for the general classification. Bargui certainly lived up to this challenge and finished 8th overall at La Vuelta even managing to finish 8th at Lagos de Covadongo ahead of plenty of climbing stars and his best stage finish was in stage 20 with a 6th place position atop of the Puerto Ancare. In the 2015 season, Warren Bagui built his season around the Tour de France and he managed in the build-up race the Tour de Suisse to finish 12th. Bagui started the Tour de France well with a great first week and he impressed by finishing 13th atop of the Mur de Bretagne and he was even in 8th position overall after that stage. However, Bagui struggled in the third week and dropped out of the top 10 in the last few stages and he ended up finishing his first Tour de France in a respectable 14th place. The 2016 season couldn't have started worse for Warren Bagui and his teammates as on the 23rd of January 2016, Bagui was one of the six members members of the team giant Upson team who were hit by a car which drove on the oncoming traffic while they were training in Spain. All riders were in a stable condition but this definitely produced some injuries for the riders unfortunately. Miraculously Bagui managed to recover somewhat in order to finish 9th in La Flèche Wallonne and 6th in liege Bastinage, only 11 seconds behind the winner while pools. Bagui returned to Switzerland for the Tour de Suisse yet again and on the 5th stage he almost took a stage win but was denied by the breakaway specialist Darwin Atapuma. He went on to finish 3rd on stage 7 to Solden and he was equal on time with Miguel Angel Lopez and that meant that he took over the yellow leader's jersey. However, for Bagui, the next stage was the time trial and that is not his strongest asset as a rider and he finished 21st and dropped away from the leader's jersey. Despite that, at the Tour de France, Bagui demonstrated his form and he was 4th overall after 4 stages. However, during the race, his form dropped and he ended up 23rd overall. The rest of his season was not great either as he went to the Olympic Games and abandoned the road race. Then he went on to the Vuelta España but abandoned on stage 3. But he did manage to salvage an 8th place finish at the final monument of the season, Il Lombardia. 2017 would be a different year for Bagui. He began the season well with an 8th place finish at Paris Nice overall and Bagui unfortunately did suffer a setback after a crash during the Tour de Romandie where he fractured his pelvis and this ruled him out for some weeks before he made his comeback at the Criterium du Dauphiné. But at the Tour his fortunes would change as Bagui took the polka dot jersey off the stage 9 and he was narrowly beaten to the win by Rigoberto Run in a thrilling photo finish. Bagui didn't let this narrow disappointment get to him and on stage 13 in a sprint finish in a four-man breakaway in 
UFO, he managed to beat Nairo Quintana, Alberto Contador, and Miguel Landa. That was an incredible win for him. And onto this, this was actually the first Frenchman to win a Tour de France stage on Bastille Day since David Moncoutier's stage 12 victory in 2005. But Baguio was by no means content with this and went on to win stage 18 as well that finished up the HC climb the Col de Isward after he dropped leader Darwin Atapuma, maybe revenge from the Tour de Suisse who had been leading the stage and Bagui made the catch with 800 meters to go and soloed to the finish line and produced a very iconic photo. After his stage 18 win, Bagui was basically unbeatable in the polka dot jersey with an 89 point lead over second place Primoz Roglic and he managed to take it all the way to Paris. This success did not follow him into the Welter that year as Bagui was thrown out of the Welter Espanol by Team Songweb prior to stage 8 and the reasons given by Team Songweb for Bagui's ejection from the race was that his disagreement with the team over the race goals and tactics, Bagui wanted a more free role to work for himself in the mountains and this has created several disagreements within the team. Further to this, one incident that also was pointed out was his refusal to obey team orders by not waiting for team leader Wilco Kelderman as the Dutchman had punctured on stage 7 and therefore he lost time as a result of it. This disgruntlement between Sunweb and Bagui seemed to be unrepairable as for the 2018 season, Bagui announced that he would join the Pro Conti team for Tineo Samsic signing a 3 year deal with the French outfit. Bagui didn't impress in his first World Tour race with them in Paris Nice where he only finished 17th. At the Tour de France that year, Bagui made his first attack on the first mountain stage but was without luck and on the following two stages he went into the breakaway and collected points for the Bunker New Jersey but ultimately he finished second in that classification and 17th overall. In 2019 it was a tough start for Warren Bagui as his best result in the beginning of the year was a third place finish in the Drum Classic. However, Bagui would go on to win the French National Road Race Championships in a sprint and before this he had actually stated that he was considering retiring from the sport due to the lack of success he had been having in his career. However, this win gave him a bit of invigoration as at the Tour de France, he showed himself at the front and attacked several times in the mountains and managed to finish inside the top 10 for a second time in his career after 2017. It got better as well as he managed to salvage a second place overall at the Arctic race of Norway and this really demonstrated some good form by Warren Bagui. He also showed after the Tour de France his loyalty to the team as he confirmed that he would be remaining with the now called Arkea Samsic for another season despite having interest from World Tour teams. In 2020, Nairo Quintana joined the team and Warren Bagui worked well for Nairo Quintana at the Tour de la Province that ultimately ended up in success for Nairo Quintana and the team. However, personal results were not as evident for Bagui as he managed to only finish second in the Drum Classic, fourth in Flesh Alone, and ninth in Liège Baston Liège in what was a strange year for us all. In 2021, he did not finish the Tour de France for the first time in his career, but he did, however, manage to win the overall at the Tour de Limousin, his first overall stage race victory as a pro as well, incidentally. And now in 2022, he managed to clinch his first World Tour stage victory since 2017 by winning from a breakaway at Terreno Adriatico, and what an incredible win that was for Warren Bagui. So this returns us to the question, what the happened to Warren Bagui. Perhaps for Warren Bagui, there was a bit of a lack of confidence in most of his career, with huge expectations being placed on his shoulders, as he is a Brittany rider, and we all know who also comes from that region, and people were hoping that he would reach the heights of Bernard Hainaut. That could play a big factor, and also crashes in bad places, of course, has hampered him as well. So who knows, but it's just great to see him back to winning ways, and hopefully this former Tour de Labanier winner can really live up to his potential even more and we saw it at such a young age as we've already said so yeah it's gonna be exciting to see what he can do this season maybe he'll be given a more freer role maybe he has more form than he has had in the last couple of seasons but it will be very interesting to follow anyways that's it for this video make sure to look at our fabio Ru. what the fuck happened to fabio Ru? and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the channel like the video as that really helps and comment down below what you think of warren buggy and as always thank you very much for watching and have a nice day